Right, welcome to part two, and we're going to get going on the animations and the ghosting. If you haven't seen part one, go back and watch it because that brings you up to speed with where we are right now. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just move these things up to be first class citizens. There we are. And we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. Everything is going to start complaining. Now, in order to fix these problems, we need to define some constants. So let's do that up here. We want to say that the maximum size, which is going to be a CG float, is equal to 200. We want to say that the minimum size is a CG float equal to 40. We need an inhale time which is a double equal to three and an exhale time, which is also a double that's equal to four. And we need a pause time, which is a double equal to 0 0.5. Now I measured these looking at the app. So it's a best guess. Really? They look similar enough in my opinion, but obviously I'm sure they're probably not perfect. So now we need to set up a couple of state private variables. All right, this is the size, which is equal to the min size. And inhaling is equal to false to start. Now we can pass them in to our petals. Size is the size and inhaling is inhaling. Let's copy that and put it in the other one. Now we can resume because everything's compiling. Right, so we've got it in the exhaled position. It's ready to go. And we just need to tell it to do that. And we're going to do it on a tap gesture. And in this, because we've got quite a complicated animation, we're going to put it in a function. Perform animations. That's going to be our function. Private func perform animations. And we say with animation, ease in out the duration of inhale time. And that's going to set inhaling to true and the size to max size like that. Okay, if we resume that, should do something. We click and it increases in size. Beautiful. But it's not going to decrease in size. But we need to wait here. There's no easy way to run a different animation once you've animated something after a delay. It actually, in my experience, much easier to just control these animations explicitly with timings. So I'm going to say after inhale time plus pause time, we say with animation, ease in out with the duration of exhale time. And in here, we set inhaling to false and size to the min size, like so. Let's see what we've got. Increases, lovely, waits half a second and exhales. Fantastic. I'm feeling more relaxed already. Now there's no rotation going on. And from looking at the original, we need it to start 30 degrees anti-clockwise and then to finish 60 degrees clockwise. And the way we do that is we use another couple of conditional modifiers that are mutually exclusive. We're going to say rotate if inhaling, we're going to go 60 degrees clockwise. If we're not inhaling, we're going to go minus 30 degrees. Let's see what that gives us. All right, much nicer. Okay, we're getting pretty close. In fact, I think we're there. Okay, that's what it does. 
But we're not done, because obviously a breathe animation recreation would not be complete without the ghost petals, which, let's face it, is the really interesting part of this whole affair. Fortunately, we don't have to change our petal shape. We can use the same thing. We just have to be a bit careful about how we are going to style it and animate it. Right, so let's define some constants up here. Okay, so we've got the ghost max size which is a CG float is going to be equal to the max size times 0 0.99, just a bit smaller than the original. And then the min size is just going to be a bit smaller than that. Not a lot, just a bit. And then we'll separate these out. We're going to need three more. This is going to be the ghost size, which is going to be equal to the ghost max size to start with. Then we're going to need a blur which is a double equal to zero, and then an opacity, which is also equal to zero. And now we need to go down to our animation block to tell it what we need to do with these things. So here we are, and we're interested in the time after the inhalation plus the pause time, as in the bit where we're starting to exhale. And before we animate anything, we want to set the initial values up like this. We need the size of it to be the ghost max size. We want the blur to be equal to zero. And we want the opacity to be equal to 0 0.8, almost solid. And once they're in, what we're going to do is animate the blur and opacity differently from the size, because when it appears, we want it to be as opaque and sharp as possible. We don't want the blurring or change in opacity to have begun by the time we see it. So we want these things to start animating after a small period of time, like this. So after 20% of the exhalation time, that's when we want to animate. With an ease out, with the duration of the exhalation time times 0 0.6. We want it to be transparent before the exhalation has finished. We set the ghost opacity to 0 and the ghost blur to 10. And then we set the size of the ghost petals to animate in the same animation block as the primary one, like this. Ghost size is equal to ghost min size, like that. And then we can use it up here. Petals, the size is going to be the ghost size in this case. Inhaling is going to be inhaling. We'll set the blur to be the ghost blur. And the opacity to be the ghost opacity. We're also going to put that in a drawing group because when you're blurring things out like this, can be a bit taxing on the internal simulator. Let's resume and see what we get. Oh, isn't it lovely? Are you relaxed now? Now that that's over with, I certainly am. Right, so there you have it. And I realize there's always tweaks you can make, and believe me, I really want to grab that ghost image and just make it decay a little bit less. But at one point, you've just got to say stop and get on with the rest of your life, right? Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, big thanks to Paul Hudson and Erica Sadoon for a great challenge and a great podcast, which I will link to in the description below. If you like that, then give it a thumbs up. It really helps people find the channel. And I really appreciate the support. Everyone around here does. We all do. Barry, he, he appreciates it. Charlie on the lights there. Uh, Susan on the camera. You know, we all appreciate it. Uh, so click that button. It makes us very happy. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, well, we'll pop some champagne for that. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. But in the meantime, thanks for joining me. See you next time.